Did you wake up this morning and think to yourself, you know what I'm missing? A full-size blaster. Well, guess what? You're in luck. That's exactly what we have in front of us, and that's exactly what we'll be talking about. America! So today we're checking out full-size or mostly full-size striker fire guns. Going to compare and contrast and kind of give you guys an idea of what we like and what we don't. Uh, we'll be starting out with these five. We've got a Springfield Echelon, a Smith & Wesson MP9 2.0, a HK VP9, a, what is that, an X-Carry P320, and a Glock 17 Gen 5. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at them, see how they shoot, see how they feel, what we like and what we don't like, and uh, do it all. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We're rolling right into them. Uh, I'm going to start this one out saying that Glock 17 has always been king for me. One, um, so I'm interested to try some of these other platforms and get more rounds on them. Uh, also, it's notable that the SIG X carry is technically a compact. I don't yeah. really know. There's no lines drawn for like what's compact and what's full size, but this is technically a carry based gun, probably more similar to a Glock 19. You're probably checking out a four inch barrel, something like that. Um, so it's a little bit shorter, but uh, yeah. Grip wise, they're We should have done the M17. Either way, let's rock and roll. Let's check them out. I'm gonna take the Glock first. Because, of course you will. Nah, you know what? I'm gonna save the Glock for the end. I've shot those. I'm going M and P. I'll try the Smith Glock. Smith and Wesson M and P. You want? You take 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 point. Go ahead. An M and P. One thing that I will say, like right out of the box. It's like when you're in the store or testing this thing out, like a lot of people will say like, oh, the grip's too rough or something like that. But I'm just outside on like a 65 degree day and my hands start to sweat and this thing is not going anywhere. So like one thing I will say is like the grip texture on this thing is awesome. Um, as far as like the repeat accuracy and everything, this is Smith & Wesson M&P. As far as the repeat accuracy goes, like this thing's not playing any games. It's pretty, pretty sweet. At the very least, I like the grip. It performed well. What's next? What's next is I really think everyone should own one of these. A Lula? Yeah. Dude, this yeah. This would be terrible without if you're doing, it. If you're doing shooting like this out here at the land or like you gotta load a bunch of mags really fast, like that mag Lula right there, I think's nasty. All right, I'm going, uh, I'm going German, HK VP9. A lot of first timers like selling guns and stuff in the store. Uh, a lot of people that are first getting into a gun, like they, they don't really know exactly what they want or they're looking something to defend their house. Like this thing more often than not feels really good in people's hands. It's like super ergonomic and it comes with those humps. <clears throat> and then the grips that they come with as well are not only a back panel, but they come with side panels as well. So you can widen out one side of the gun or you know whatever, widen out your strong side if you want, if you got bigger hands, which is pretty sweet. That was pretty sick, pretty sick. Once again, like, I don't know if it's the way, like the grips is not as aggressive, right? Like, you know, it's it's not as textured as the M&P, but it did feel really good and snug in my hand with like the repeat accuracy and stuff. Like I could get back on target relatively easily, so. And it's German. You German. Mercedes-Benz engineering. Checking out the SIG 320X carry. Uh, it does have all the, the X carry upgrades, you know, the nicer grip, the flat trigger. It is optic ready. Most of these guns are optic ready. We just didn't put anything on them. So we'd have more of a fair comparison. Uh, has SIG's nice night sights. So see how it does.
feels good, shoots smooth. It is a little smaller than the rest of them, so I'm not sure that's a total fair comparison, but I like the shape of the grip overall. Uh, the, the flat face trigger feels pretty nice. Uh, the texture is a little bit, it's not aggressive, it's kind of the opposite, right? Like where you want to have it be real nice and snug, they're really smooth, and then the spots where you want it to be smooth, they kind of have extra texture. So that's a bit of a weird thing, but overall it shot great. How do you feel about what a lot of people say about those things is that like the trigger feels spongy when they're like dry firing them and stuff. Like when you're at the range, like rocking and rolling, how do you notice that? Or I think that once you're shooting, you don't notice, right? Right. Like yeah. if you're riding the brake and riding right. the reset, you might notice it, but rounds on target, managing recoil, managing your trigger pull, it's not as noticeable. Right. Sick. This here is the Springfield Echelon. Uh, this is relatively new. They've been out for over a year now, I believe. Uh, this is their addition to the full size market. Uh, I believe that they've moved away from like the XDs and the XDMs and they're now putting out the, the Echelons. So it's pretty cool. We've done videos on this one before um, and it's uh, certainly a, a solid offering. There we go. I mean, as far as like dings on target, like that was definitely the most. Um, the strong suits on this one is one, the grip texturing, like I really like the way it feels in my hand, but having this bright ass front sight, they call this thing the U-dot. Um, you get that weird kind of shallow U at the back and then you get this bright front sight. So I, out here in the sun and everything, like that thing picks up great. You can see it, you know, clear as day, which is pretty rad. How do you feel about the slide on that one? I've heard a lot of people talk about it sitting like right on top of your hand. It doesn't quite have as much of an undercut as the rest of these. I didn't realize, I didn't run into any problems with it when I was, I mean, like when I was gripping it, like I didn't, I honestly didn't notice. Uh, this one here is one of our rentals and it's missing the top plate. Um, so that's, you know, notable. Um, but I mean, if I, if I had to say anything about the slide, like I do my press checks and stuff from the front and having that aggressive texture in the front is pretty cool. It kind of has shelves and things that you can kind of, grab onto. I didn't notice anything on the back on cool. the back end though. He's already introduced this one. It's the VP9 again. I think ergonomically, this one probably knocks it out of the park. Just yep. the feel in your hand. The HK? Yeah. So the, smooth curves, baby. Smooth curves. Ooh, the yeah, like the fact that you glass. can change it all out really just kind of changes the whole gun for me. Smooth curves. Smooth. Smooth. This right here is that Austrian engineering. This is the Glock 17. Um, I mean, part of it, part of the reason why I think I like them so much is because I've, I mean, I've shot them my whole life and it's like, you know, what's your brand of cigarettes, right? Like, why do you like what you like? I don't know. Uh, part of that for me is that I bought into the family. I, I own a couple of different Glocks. There's mag compatibility and parts, you know, interchangeability and stuff like that. Um, and they're extremely reliable, which is, which is cool. Feels like home to me, man. I don't know, a lot of people like, when people say they have problems with these, it's usually grip angle, either that or the trigger. I mean, the triggers out of the box are what they are. They're not great. Um, the grip angle, it, it takes some getting used to for some people, especially people that are used to shooting like 1911s and straight grips and stuff like that. Um, you gotta kind of drive the gun differently. But uh, I mean, for me, I've been shooting them long enough. It's, it feels like home. Love it. Nice. Love it. I think if you're a fan of safeties, this might be your only choice, right? Safety first, dude. SIG comes with a safety. M17, M18? Yeah. 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 Echelon? No safeties, no. right? No safety, dude. This is your safety right here, baby. See that?
Dude, that hinged trigger drives me crazy. Yeah. Did you get shot on that? Yeah, so specifically to this Smith or to all of the newer Smiths, they have a hinge right in the middle of the trigger. A lot of people say they don't notice it. For me, it's a sticking point. It kind of just makes that whole thing feel uh, creepy and, and hitchy. Uh, you can kind of feel whenever you take it up that safety disengage. It is kind of cool that they added a safety, uh, similar to what Glock has with the little tab in the middle, but the way they went about it kind of feels weird on my finger. That was We sick. checked them all out, man. Yeah. What do you think? We shot them all. Let's see. I think, I mean, for me, I'm pretty set in my ways, man. Everybody's got a different flavor. This is mine. If you don't like it, I mean, whatever. Well, what is it? This is the Glock 17. Why do you like it? Um, I like it that it covers all of the bases. It's full size. Uh, it's accurate. It's reliable. Um, and, I mean, not to say that these aren't, but um, I've bought into the family, and they've treated me nothing but well, and uh, I'm a loyal customer. So I stick with Glocks. Sweet. Yep. I'm going to go with this one. What's that? Uh, this is a VP9. Yep. And I like German-made guns. Yep. Shot great. It yep. feels great. It's got all of the adjustability that I prefer. Sure. And the trigger was nice. Yep. Absolutely. The I've, ones we didn't pick that I've, are still great guns. Yep. Why didn't we pick this? Uh, I didn't like it because I'm not a huge fan of the trigger. Um, I mean, that's that just is what it is. P320X I mean, I carry, well, pretty much all the P320 line. He's going to feel the same way about the trigger. It's I said you can't really feel it. Some people do. Uh, it can be annoying. Sure. They do have a nice grip. It feels good. Yep. Uh, this is definitely an upgrade over the old 320 bubble grip. Uh, why didn't we pick this? Oh, man. I didn't like it because of the hinge. I mean, when you were talking about it, and I honestly, I think I started thinking about it after you were talking about it, but um, the more it got into my head, the more difficult it was. I do really, really like the out-of-the-box grip texture, though. Yeah, it that, is, that, that texture like is this, awesome. It's awesome, dude. Yeah. That gun's not going anywhere. Texture is awesome. Trigger, not so great. Not it my is, favorite. If yeah. you're into safeties, this is probably your best bet. That is the the nicest safety out of any of these guns as far as what they come with. 100%. They're all ambi, and, and yeah, and they, all their standard models come with safeties, which is uncommon these days. The Echelon, which we've both liked in the past in videos. Yeah, I mean, it's a really good choice. I don't think that it really has anything, apart from the texturing on the slide, that out of the box, I don't think it does anything better than any of these. Um, I like the UDOT sights are pretty sweet, yeah. but I mean, and I think it's a perfectly adequate choice. It's just... It's not really doing anything that uh, these other ones aren't. And like I said, I'm already, uh, I'm in the Glock family. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean, if you were starting from scratch, none of these would be a bad option. Sure. Um, you've just already made your pick and I've made mine. So we're gonna stick with them and keep shooting and uh, have some fun. Rock and roll. Yeah, if you like the video, be sure to subscribe and like and follow, comment and share all of our stuff. Love all of our videos. Love all of our videos. We really appreciate it. Keep your eyes out. There's gonna be plenty more. Party hard. See you soon. Uh-huh.